Hi everybody, it's Glenn and welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for stopping by. You know that I appreciate each and every one of you. So, uh, my wife just gave me a nice haircut. What do you think? Nice and neat. And today, we're shaving with something uh, special. It is Kentucky Rain, Kentucky Rain by Sir Henry's. And it's special for a number of reasons. One, um, Sir Henry's doesn't uh, release soaps frequently. So when they do, it's excellent. Um, you know, I'm a big fan of Sir Henry's. Uh, and second, uh, one of my favorite scents of all time is Rose, and that's in here. Kentucky Rain, Rose, Bourbon, and Leather. So let's uh, read what Sir Henry's says about their soap. It's springtime in Kentucky. The morning rain has passed. The aroma of roses comes to your nose, present but not overly feminine. You get a whiff of the horse's saddle leather, just as a horse, jockey, and trainer pass by. Next up, Kentucky bourbon steps up in its role of boozy sweetness as it harmonizes with the sweet woods and note of citrus in your old fashioned cocktail. You sip your drink, you smile, catch a wisp of vanilla, and you know it's going to be a great evening of enjoying the whole symphony of the scent we call Kentucky Rain. So a couple of things I noticed when I pick up this um, soap container, it is heavy. Man, is this a heavy container. So I took a look at the ingredients and, and the uh, size here. Seven ounces, there's seven ounces of soap in here. So pretty heavy, lots of soap. Uh, it's $23.95, I believe, on the Sir Henry's uh, website. Um, beautiful colors in the label. There are some gold uh, accents. Hope you can see it uh, in the lighting. So let's open up the soap container and see what we get. Here's the pour. Very firm soap, almost hard. Oh boy. So I get the rose. It is not overpowering at all. So guys, if you're afraid of a rose scent, don't be afraid of this one. I get the leather. And I just about get the bourbon as well. I'm also picking up vanilla, um, the creaminess that Sir Henry's is known for. So excited to um, do this shave. So what are we using? So we've got the soap, we have the splash. We're going to be using some uh, Subtle Art Soap Company Citrus Pre-Shave. I've got the uh, Carve Overlander loaded with a, um, what's in this? Oh, it's a strange lit blade. Let me get the wrapper for you. Strange lit blade from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements on its second use. I have uh, two days of growth, so looking forward to getting this off. So um, let me um, build a lather in the bowl and we'll get right back to you. Okay, ready to go. Um, I forgot to tell you what kind of brush I was using. Here it is, Chisel and Hound, Fanturian Knot. Look at the colors on this particular brush. Uh, perfect for um, the uh, label on the soap. And here is the uh, coin, Chisel and Hound. Rob does great work. So let's uh, get the glasses off and wet the face.
Okay, face is wet. We're gonna use some uh, subtle art. Citrus pre-shave. I just love the uh, citrus aroma in this pre-shave. So here is the lather on the brush and let's get going. So off of the uh, puck, it was uh, above medium on the scent strength. And I'm getting the same thing on the face. Rose is coming out a little more now. Very interesting how sometimes the, the soap, the scent can change from what's coming off of the puck and then off of the lather itself. Mmm, very pleasant. Loving it. So Sir Henry's is a very easy soap to lather. You don't need much. I'm still breaking this a uh, brush in. Okay. I think we're there. Pass number one. There's something very familiar in all of the Sir Henry's soaps. They share that vanilla woody creaminess. I think most of the soaps I've tried from Sir Henry's has that same characteristic. So tomorrow, New Year's Eve. Hope you've got some nice things planned for it. We're going down to the Jersey Shore. We're gonna stay uh, in Spring Lake. with some friends, have dinner, and see a Billy Joel cover band. Look at that beautiful lather. So Sir Henry's is available on their website I believe they're on Amazon as well. And they're uh, in a couple of um, shaving uh, distributors. I think um, the Wet Shaving Store carries their stuff. Probably a few more. Pass number two. Soap is extremely slick, protective, a very well hydrated lather.
have a great deal of soaps from Sir Henry's. I have a couple of their um, EDPs as well. And they have incredible staying power. They last all day, absolutely all day. Okay, lather up for pass number three. Beautiful stuff. Sir Henry's is made in St. Louis. When you buy directly from Sir Henry's, it's amazing how fast they ship this out to you. Brush is starting to feel really nice now. Takes a couple of times. Okay. Pass number three. So I'd like to thank everybody for um, being part of this channel, um, watching, subscribing. I truly appreciate it. What a great community to be part of. 55 degrees here in uh, southeastern Pennsylvania today. A bit different from what we had in the last couple of days. Okay. Let's see how we did. So you know I'm gonna say a couple of trouble areas and I will take care of them right now. Okay, I will call this done. And as usual, it's a beautiful BBS shave. So, if you've been watching my channel, you know that we do not waste any of the soap that might still be left in the bowl or the brush. We get it on the face again. And we do this for three reasons. One, to enjoy that incredible scent a little longer. And that rose is fantastic. Mm. And so is the bourbon. And so is the leather. Second reason we do it is that it's really good for your face. And the third reason is if you've missed any areas, you can very, very easily feel them and uh, just go over them again. But we're all good here, so let's uh, rinse. Okay, what a fabulous shave. Absolutely love that Sir Henry's Kentucky Rain. So I think instead of um, Thayer's, we'll go with um, Sterling Witch Hazel 
with menthol. Here it is, uh, unscented uh, with menthol. Great if you want a shot of coolness. Hmm, that is so good. I should use that more often, actually. And now for the splash. Good shake. Oh, that is unbelievably good. Mm. Same as the soap. I get a little more uh, bourbon in this, a little, a little more boozy. Refreshing, protective. What a great splash that is. It's not one of those um, just runny splashes. This has some stuff in there that feels a bit tacky or sticky when you first put it on, but within 10 minutes, when that dries down, your face is just so unbelievably soft. I love it. Okay, so let's do a quick recap. Sir Henry's Kentucky Rain, seven ounces, seven ounces of soap. Splash. We use the chisel and hound brush, perfect colors uh, to match that soap. We use the uh, carve overlander with a strange lit blade. We use some Settle Art Soap Company Citrus Pre-Shave. Um, we used some Sterling unscented witch hazel with menthol. Very nice for a change. And I scooped my soap with my Smiles for Miles soap scooper. So thank you all very much for joining me today. Please take a look at Sir Henry's. What a fabulous product they make. And um, take care, have a great New Year's Eve and Happy New Year to you, and see you next year. Bye-bye now.